What is up, everyone? I am Matt, also known as the Gaming Rebel, and I am really sorry for the really long delay in between Let's Plays. Had a bit of issues. Hardware, software, offline, you know, just life sucking in general. But I finally managed to get myself going and start bringing you guys a brand new Let's Play. This is, obviously, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD on the Nintendo Wii U. I've already done the other two Zelda games. I've done Twilight Princess HD, I've done Breath of the Wild, the first 20 videos of it on the Wii U. So I'll still count it. And now this one. Once I've done this, I'll have uh, done every single Zelda game that's been released on the Wii U. Minus Virtual Console. Oh, we're not going to get into that. Anyway, I had uh, a lot of issues, but one of my main ones was, uh, well, I, I've i explained this before in other videos, but I might as well explain it here since I doubt a lot of people have watched those. Well, I've had issues with capturing through my capture card the Evermedia Live Gamer Extreme. But it's not the actual capture card's fault, it's my computer's fault. More specifically, it's my motherboard. I've been able to narrow it down occasionally, just to kind of learn more about what the problem really is, and I learned that I had issues capturing video through the USB ports. Now, I tried another approach, and this is what I'm actually using to capture for this. Instead of the Live Gamer Extreme, which uh, I've been using before, I'm using the Avermedia Live Gamer HD2, which is an internal capture card that you plug into a PCI Express slot inside your computer. Just a PCIe uh, X1 is fine, because that's the size you really need. You don't need anything... Well, that, that's the smallest size you can have, so it can fit anywhere in one of those slots. So I tried that and I did a whole bunch of testing just before I started doing this because I wanted to make sure that everything was going to work. And if not, then uh, the only other option I'd have is to get a brand new motherboard and I probably still need to. Because I've had some issues with this still, but uh, for the most part capturing is fine. The capture card itself is... A lot more responsive like it doesn't take me a while to actually get the thing going one of the major downsides though is that I still can't record in 1080p which I've been trying to do at some point but the thing with it is whenever I tried it just gave me a blank screen in the preview and yeah I can't really do anything else about that I couldn't even get 1080p on the live gamer extreme through USB even with the high performance setting, which I've been using. Now, I've actually had a couple of hiccups with the uh, HD2. And I wanted to make, like, see, this is why I do my testing before I start doing a Let's Play, because I don't need something happening along the way. And I've noticed that any issues that I've really had with it have only happened when I didn't have it on high performance, so it looks like I'm still limited on that. But, hey, what are you going to do? We all have technical problems with our computers, and, well, sometimes you can't really do anything about it, unless you spend a whole lot of money, which I kind of have been. Anyway, that's kind of what's been going on. That's why I've been taking so long, aside from other things, too, life being one of them. Dealing with everyone here at home, and just, in general, life really sucking. I don't know, but, uh, hey! Let's finally get into this game, shall we? Because, uh, I like this game. I really do like that they brought this to the Wii U. And it gave us a brand new experience with this. And as you can tell by what's been going on, I'm not actually playing this on the regular quest. I'm playing this on the second quest. Because, really, I just feel more... I just feel it offers a better game experience. And I'm also playing on Hero Mode. Well, I don't know if you 
I don't know if I can prove that just yet, because I'm actually trying to hide what I named Link. That's why I started where I did. But anyway, guess what today is? It's your birthday, big brother! That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? There we go, finally I have control of our character. Oh, she doesn't say what your uh, name is. Oh well. I... I don't know if I feel comfortable with that, but uh, anyway. I'm just gonna do a quick thing here on the items. Um, by the way, since you are... Since I'm playing the second quest, I already have the Deluxe Picto Box right here. So, if you found the regular Picto Box in the original playthrough, then you will have this at the start of the game, along with any pictographs you would have saved when you beat the game. But that's not why I'm here. I'm going here because uh, this is my setup. I'm playing on standard because I hate airplane controls. I really do. I'm currently using the Wii U Pro Controller, but I'm probably going to have to switch back to the gamepad at some point for uh, when we start getting some items. And then finally, the UI display. I'm going to turn that off because uh, I'm pretty familiar with this game at this point, and pretty much everything is going to be on the gamepad. So all it really shows is just your your hearts and your rupees. And really, I just kind of feel it's nice to have a little bit of a cleaner screen. Helps my thumbnails too, but uh, again, I'll probably have to deal with that uh, later. Hello! And there we go! That's what I named my character! The Japanese for Big Brother. <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. I'm probably still going to address him as Link, but uh, I did this as a little bit of a gag, because, uh, you know, I like anime. I... I sometimes watch, well, some stupid anime stuff. And, I mean, why not? We're all weebs on here, right? <laughs> But yeah, now I can also show as to uh, the fact that I am indeed playing on hero mode, because uh, if you look in the upper right, I just added that little bit right there. Okay. It's going to be so weird having everyone just call me the uh, cuter version that a little sister would call their big brother. I, I, it's so dumb, but you know what? I've, I've done pretty dumb things on this channel, and I've... Why, why not? Because, why not? I don't know where to go with that. Uh, can I talk to this guy? No, I can't. Anyway, I'm going to go take this little piggy up to uh, a certain pig pen. Well... I've already run out of things to say at this point. I... I'm not... This really shows just how... Unused to Let's Playing I am right now. I mean, I tried doing uh, no commentary playthroughs. I might... Might start doing more of those later on. I don't know. I'm trying to think about it. But, you know, I might do it just because... Uh, I feel like I'm not doing good with commentary anymore. Then again, I've never really been that good with commentary myself, but, uh, what are you gonna do? Alright, so let's, uh, continue on. We go over here, we talk to this guy. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't get over it. Maybe I should have just played it, maybe I should have just named him Link, just to, you know, Keep him in proper character, but then again, you can name him whatever you want. You can name him something very inappropriate if you wanted. I'm not going to, though. I don't do that, so... I gotta have some decency on this channel. Yeah, so they're just going through all the uh, tutorial stuff. They still do this, even though you're playing on the second quest. And hero mode, but hero mode was not a forced thing on you. You can actually change between normal and hero mode whenever you want. They forced it on you for Twilight Princess HD, 
by flipping the world and uh, Skyward Sword, which was kind of like the first case of it, of sorts. Uh, I don't want to go in there. I'll go in there later. You. You stay away from me. Uh, should I go get the piggy? I am wasting so much time. I'm not gonna grab all the pigs on the island for her. I think, uh, two's enough. But really, I just kinda wanna get going, cause I have been wasting quite a lot of time trying to talk, explain how things have been with my, uh, hardware and stuff. I still think I get- I still think I need to get a new motherboard at some point, cause, uh, you know, if I'm still having issues even with an internal capture card, then there's something up with the motherboard. But I've noticed that the main issues that I've had are pretty much just... Well, whenever I did it on balanced mode and the 1080p. Like, that's really it. Other than that, uh, everything's been going fine. I might run into a few more uh, hiccups every now and then in the uh, preview. But uh, I don't think it's affected my actual uh, footage. This is what I think. Anyway, in uh, the second quest, you get special clothes made of a special fabric that only the honest can see. Which is basically an excuse to not give you actual clothes. Plus, I actually like Link's outfit in this game. What the? Wow, they're really light. I don't know, I think it's kind of, uh, lazy, but whatever. I don't know why, but I, I think I remember at one point that, uh, on the original Wind Waker, and, uh, take this with a grain of salt, um, what am I thinking? You could actually receive alternate color versions of the hero's clothes. I don't remember how you do it specifically, but I think the case was on the second quest you named yourself a certain color and that's how you did it. Again, don't don't quote me on this. I'm just trying to remember a trick I tried back in the GameCube days. Oh, there we go. We are now wearing our new clothes. Apparently. Yeah, I'm already starting to hear a little bit of uh, audio hiccup right now. With uh, high CPU usage. If you don't, then that's good. That means that uh, the footage is coming through just fine. And that's what really matters. Now go get your sister, uh, Errol. I don't necessarily know how to really pronounce her name. Like, I think there's been debate on how to pronounce... Well, I know there's been debate on how to pronounce a lot of names in the uh, Zelda series, because, well, obviously, you don't actually get spoken lines for, well, a lot of characters... I mean, we didn't really get much for uh, English dialogue, well, until Breath of the Wild, really, but, um, actually, no, we got English dialogue, or, well, actual spoken dialogue in this game, too. I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, I think the whole thing is because, you know, our, our protagonist, our Link here is silent, usually. It's just been a running trend. I don't know where I'm going with this, but, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of debate on, uh, pronunciations for names. I'm gonna say it as Errol, because, I don't know. I kind of looked it up on, uh, how to pronounce it with the actual name. You always wear the same outfit. I think you need a new look. <laughs> yeah, like you do. You and that, uh, maroon little dress you stole from Tetra. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. So, a Nichan. Yeah, I, I could. I bet you in the Japanese Wind Waker, this is what she calls Link. 
Like, I bet you that's what she... I, I don't know. But let, let's just go with it. Happy birthday, Oni-chan! There we go. First item. Telescope. Alright, yeah. Using the gamepad, you can also touch and slide items to set them. That's kind of the main thing I'm going to be doing later on. Because I'm probably going to try and keep the UI as small as I can. Because, really? Do I need it? I'm sure you guys would like a cleaner screen. Anyway, we get to borrow the telescope. Alright, so let's set this to something. Uh, let's set it to Y. Now, I need to remember that, uh... Yeah, they got the thing up there. I zoom in with the left stick, and I look around with the right stick. It's a lot more stable than using the gyros. It seriously is. And then suddenly, giant bird. I always found this to be, like, really interesting when the original Wind Waker was out, because, you know, you didn't really get a lot of these really eventful cutscenes. I mean, mostly it was just talking back in those days. You go up to someone, you talk with them, and that's kind of it. No, they really took it a step forward with Wind Waker and beyond, and I'm glad they did. Oh boy. Well, we gotta go in there. And that's why I held off on going to see Orca, because, you know, I kind of would like to just one and done this. Anyway, obviously you can see there the swim timer. There's no underwater sections at all in Wind Waker, minus going down to Hyrule. Um, since I'm playing Second Quest, I'm going to be playing with the assumption that you guys already know everything about the game. So, if you're watching this for like the very first time and you've never played Wind Waker or Wind Waker HD, then this is not the Let's Play for you. Yeah, if you came in here normally, he'd be like constantly hitting that wooden shark over there. What is the matter, Oni-chan? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? <laughs> that sounds so wrong. That that just sounds so wrong when I made him address him with that name. This is this is probably my dumbest idea yet. All right. Let's make sure I can actually do this. I actually do like how he looks having his normal clothes and having the uh, weapon. Alright, let's get some room. Whoops! Right, I don't want to hold the direction. I want to make sure I'm actually just attacking. Alright, time for the thrust. Again, that sounds so wrong. Okay, there we go. I had to uh, face the direction. Spin attack! There. Now, let's see if I can do a quick spin. There we go! Alright, I love I love that they added the parry attack in this. And then it later became two different abilities in Twilight Princess. Backslice and Helm Splitter. Again, I love those moves. I loved getting those moves myself back in Twilight Princess, we really need more games where you actually learn new techniques. There's only like a handful of games that actually teach you brand new sword techniques. Like, in Zelda 2, you got the down thrust and up thrust. When you jumped, you held the butt, or not the help button, you held the directional pad up or down while you were in the air to attack. Obviously, in this game, we do get a couple of new moves. I think we get, like, one new move, which is the Hurricane Spin, and we're not getting that for a while. 
In Minish Cap, you got a bunch of new moves. Like, you got Down Thrust, you got Dash Attack. The Sword Beams. Too bad there's no Sword Beams in this game. Be strong, Onichan. Again, that sounds so wrong. I'm already over 20 minutes. Uh, I have had a... I did do a bunch of stress tests where I just played through a game for a good amount of time. Uh, I actually played through this game quite a bit because I wanted to re-familiarize myself with the game and uh, try to get used to having a cleaner screen. Uh, one thing I don't really like- GET AWAY FROM ME, KID! Yeah, one thing I really do not like that, uh... Well, as you saw there, I kept going in different directions instead of straight. That bugs me, because it's... It has to do with how the Wii U controller doesn't have notches like the... the Wii and GameCube controllers do. And you can't use a classic controller, either. That would have been nice, because, you know, everything I can do with the Pro Controller, I can do with a Classic Controller. Like, it basically is a Classic Controller, but, you know, styled... I, I don't know about that. But I still feel like I could have done all this with a Classic Controller, and I wish that was an option. I actually would have been using that instead. Especially because of how the, uh... The sticks are lined up. I don't know. Alright, let's head in here. Let's start uh, taking things a little more seriously. Alright, after this, and yeah, after we save her and all that stuff, we'll, uh, we'll call it for this video. First enemy! Not yet. Yeah, I figured with the cleaner screen, I already know how to put my sword away. I know how to crouch. I know how to defend. Ha! I know how to throw a rock out of a goblin. And he's still not dead. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, with how uh, smooth and circular the uh, edges of the of where the uh, control stick are, it gets kind of disorienting, and it feels like I can't be as precise with my movements. That might just be me, though. All right. Now I fight two of them. There we go. Get that spin attack. Get that quick spin. I swear, if I get hit by these guys, then I need to stop playing. But thankfully, I don't. That shows I'm good enough at this game. You know, for how... For how she comes off as... There's a lot of times where she's kind of... Gotten herself into more trouble than she's... Well, made trouble. I don't know. Why am I picking this game apart? Do I really have, like, nothing to say? <laughs> Look at Gonzo there, just tapping his feet. I don't know what kind of voice I'd give him. I think they've given him, like, different uh, voice lines for certain reactions. I don't know. So, that bird dropped me on top of a mountain. Well, that wasn't nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go! Time to pay our debt to that bird in full. But, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on! And meanwhile, Link's just... I mean, Oni-chan is just... standing there. With a blank expression, pretty much. There, that's the proper way to address Oni-chan.
and then everything goes downhill. I don't really need to say anything at this point, so I'm gonna shut up and let the cutscene play itself out. Yes, we're coming with you. Yeah, and he's just there, like, nods. Like, you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know? Pirates! He's a pirate. She's a pirate. We're all pirates. The Terror of the Seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I don't know why, but for some reason my button's not exactly uh, that responsive. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. That doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Oh, told off by the postman! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just who are you? Where do you get off buttoning on someone else's conversation? Please. All I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl would have been snatched away by that bird. Just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the Mediterranean Islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard or not, blah. Whether you've heard it or not, why can't I say not? That seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. I like this guy already. I like this guy. And I like him a lot more later on, because, uh, you know, he's actually more of a recurring character than you think. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Oni-chan here who saved you from the monsters in the forest. <laughs> Again, I just... Ah! Oh, and while I'm at it, I might as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Oni-chan's sister has made its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Oni-chan a little help now, would it? Hm. I don't need to tell me that. Even, though I, even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing, once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Yeah, she comes off as very rude. Although she does, in a way, have her reasons. Anyway, I think that'll do it for this video. Stop the recording there, give myself a little bit of a break, and uh, we'll continue on next time. So, until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara for now.